Okay, I want to see what happened 11 years ago. Let's see what's going on here. What's splashing YouTube? This is about this one. I want to welcome back to Dai's Ray. In the last episode, guys, we basically got told about a murder. We were walking with Kazumi, and then these people decide to just basically have the obsidian table. I don't know if it's like a nice round table with demons involved, possessing people's bodies. Don't ask. They also have German names, like Lionheart and like Christoph. Not Japanese names, so yeah. In it, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's a notification bell next to the description. You know, please hit the subscribe button. Um, do not be like this idiot right here. Click that button if you don't want to be this idiot. The priest reapproached the girl's choice of words. Miss Tony made it clear that he was doing it out of no more than mere formality. This Mercurius, Mercurius, or whatever, which is basically the Roman word for Mercury, was clearly rather popular, but at the same time, it seems it seemed, did not seem as if they were making light of him. Quite the opposite, in fact, they spoke of him in disgust with even interfere. This was a man of despair and so despised that his comments shunned his very existence. <laughs> それを使わしているはずです。あなた方はまず彼を探してください。そう難しいことではないでしょう。Is that him like Ren? It's kind of confusing me. It kind of scares me too, cause I'm Ren. レオンは？あの子を協力してくれないの？というか、この件に関しては彼女を一任しています。I just now see a swastika symbol right there. I did not point that out. If I didn't point that out, I now have. The priest's tone shifts. The two new arrivals knew it was time to seize the shrine. The shrines. The look in their eyes grew serious for him. Their very atmosphere around them took on a grave intensity. These were no weird loves, no mad dogs of war. Lost in their own power, they were soldiers. The obsidian round table would tell him no less. I'm 
Some interesting prayer you got there, my friend. Like Victoria England or Victoria Justice, Victoria. There's a lot of Victorias. You, know, you, you could be talking about any. Probably Victory even. Hmm. Hmm. Other story. あなたは基地感というものを経験したことがあるだろう。この さて、それはそうなってみなければわからない。そうなってみて初めてそうだったと思うがゆえの基地感である。あなたのそれはただの予感だ。いや、破滅この戦争、あなたは負けると思われるのか。あ、負けるだろう。なぜそう思われる獣
それを手にした者は必ず世界を支配すると言われた運命の槍の正当後継者黄金の獣破壊の金あなたがここにいる以上敗北などありえない彼らは私を殺すつもりだほう<笑>初耳だなどとは言えぬだろう程度にあって K の知らぬことなどはそれこそ微塵もありえまいあなたは死なれるおつもりか事実としての生死は差事だ彼らの中で私という存在がそのように位置づけられたことに意味があるもはや取りなるほど確かに死者を概念はどうあれ生き返らせることなど不可能だ私でさえそれはできない死者は死んだものゆえに聖者へ反転させることなど不可能であるこの法則は甘くない女子供の夢物語はまさしく寝言と同義同列故に法則を曲げたければ夢物語を排除せよ K の持論だったかな祈れば叶う泣けば奇跡が舞い降りるそのようなデウス・エクス・マキナ私に言わせれば最も抱きすべき邪悪でしかないもしかような法則が成り立つなら我が祈りは宇宙開脈すら起こしただろう万人に都合のいい幸せな夢などないこの世界は容赦なく慈悲もなく血と狂気でできている故に我が意を通したければ血と狂気に染まるのみ一人の聖者が欲しければその数千倍の破壊より再生の方が難しい誰しも何かを奪い合う世界においてはそれもまた真理の一つあなたは自らの死を回避するつもりがないようだ少なくとも長官殿や総統閣下にはそう思わせておきたいと見えるメメントモリ罪の名でな人はいつか死ぬということを忘れてはならない死はだがそれゆえにあなたは生死を超越するにふさわしい超越は K のルーンだったろう私が司るのは破壊のみだ法則を破壊するから超越できる<笑>前言を修正しよう破壊は再生よりもたやすいが再生よりも意義がいや元に戻す必要などそもそもないどういう意味かな繰り返すということは存外に苦痛であるという意味だ獣殿例えばそうあなたといえども幼年期はあっただろうその自分一日がとても長く感じられはしなかった一年とは永遠と同義に値するものではなかったか確かに子供であったなら世界は未知であふれている知らぬことが多い以上学ぶべきことが膨大である以上時はしかりまさしくその通りすなわち人の一生とは未知のものを学びそれがゆえにこう思う毎夜毎夜同じ世界で同じ料理を与える母同じ料理を与える母同じ笑顔しか浮かべぬ隣人同じ声で泣く小鳥同じ匂いしかしない家究極同じようにしか沈まぬ太陽はあなんとつまらない世界これを老いと人は言う一歩一歩着実に死へと向かっていく教訓だがそれでも年月とともに減っていくという道を経験できないものは生きていないと道を経験できないものは生きていないと
仮にもし仮に生まれた時から未知を排除された基地官彼の性はすでに知っている世界ですでに知っている出来事だけを繰り何という地獄の苦しみであることか始まりから生きていないのだから死ぬこともできないいいな死ねない私はこの世界に生まれたという証が欲しい狂おしいほどに未知が欲しい私はあなたにこの世界の残虐なる秘密を享受しようとしているそれを聞く勇気は終わりかあなた以外の誰にも話そうとしなかった真理に最も近いとやら言う秘密を、mm -hmm. sure. 答える前に一つなぜケはそれを私にだけ明かそうとする私があなたを異形申し上げているからだ獣殿、oh, あなたは強いあなたは美しいそしてあなたは恐ろしい私の生とは呼べぬ人生にあってあなたほど地獄に近い人間は見たことがないあなたを除けばあなたは私が知り得る中で最も悪魔に近い人間だ神父だなカール悪魔などという呼び名珍しくもない究極に近くなるほど形容する言葉は陳腐になるもの火を水のようだとは言いますまい火は火のように水は水のようにそしてあなたは悪魔のようにあなたは私を魔術師と言ったがあいにく好みはそのようなものではない単純に言い表せるのは強き者の,のみ私は弱く常に本質が揺れ動き名前だけでも幾百幾千と持っているどうしようもなく、もろい。それが私、yeah. あなたのごとき絶対とは比べるしかし、だからこそ答えをお聞かせ願いたい。たよかね、K は私を絶対と言ったが、たとえば。私にもそう思うものができたカール我が友私も K を異形している K の秘密に触れたいと願うそれすらも基地官とやらの和のうちなのだ残念ながらそのようだそうなってみて初めてそうだったと思うがゆえの基地官である口惜しい Cool, so we have learned what for now. I don't want to ever like, say it. I know I said I shouldn't talk over videos, but I don't want to talk. If I can't read this, then I don't want to like, talk over it. But I don't want to just be quiet because that's not good commentary. Not a good commentary. Oh, you feel my agony. Okay, no, Kurushimiga. ならばご理解いただけるかあなたが破壊を司るなら面白いすべてそうこの国をこの世界を目につくものすべてを壊そう天国も地獄も神も悪魔も三千大千世界のすべてを壊そう壊したことがないものを見つけるまでこのゲットを超越するまでそれこそだああ
そういえば私と K は前にもこの話をしていたねしかりしかり100億回も繰り返した、うんうん我々は未だこの牢獄に遊園に彼がいるのですよサラトゥストラそうは、ら、シリ、シリオ、ディカピテーション、マーダーケース、デッド、トー、レイズ、ティー、セブン。What? This is like skipped so many years. What? Oh god. And on December 4th, around 6 30 a.m., an employee of a diner located on the Suwa or Sawara Hara. City bypass discovered local salaryman Masayuki Shibutani, Shiba, Shibutani 28, age 28, and his friend and co worker Mitsunori Oda, also age 28, collapsed in a diner parking lot. He notified the police. As both victims are decapitated, so、uh, Suahara. City Police Department has ruled this the work of a serial killer currently terrorizing Suwahara City. These have issued a statement expressing their continued intent on intent to persuade the investigation. Eventually, it seems as if the killings so far have been initiated at random as investigators have. Been unable to identify any shared traits amongst the victims. A modern day Jack the Ripper, the shadow of fear covering Suwahara City. The ongoing, Suwa, ongoing Suwahara City serial murder case has started on December 1st and has claimed seven victims so far. A crime of this scale and level of depravity is unheard of in post war Japan. Or since post war Japan. Though the criminal MO resembles that of a prototypical serial killer frequently seen in Western society, expert opinions remain divided as the victims' bodies show no sign of sexual mutilation. Okay, good. Chaos in the city, so our city shooting incident. What? On December 2nd, around 1 p.m., a scuffle broke out amongst several boys a n d Murayamachi, the city's largest downtown district. Officer Takao Ota, age 31, was shot by one of the youth involved upon arriving at the scene. The officer Ota survived the incident but is currently hospitalized. The criminal act by juveniles h a v e been on the rise in Suhara over the past few months. It would behoove the, pres- the police to investigate the weapon employed in this incident, and it means an acquisition. It didn't take me long to f- get my fill of news for the day. Now we're back to the main man, Rin, my dear boy. The teacher had given up trying to teach today. Abandoned most of the classes, or the teachers, sorry, and telling us to study on our own. This provided the perfect opportunity to, for me to skip out on the roof. But the faculty was probably in the midst of the heated debate right around now. In other words, they were most likely discussing whether or not to close the school until the serial murder case blew over. Oh boy, this sounds like that. <sighs> Love life. A、uh, school idol project. I've been watching that recently, so there's that. Just I've been watching this series! And we're getting to my favorite part, I think. <laughs> It wasn't hard to imagine that they were getting complaints from parents left and right. 
and it's not like the students themselves felt much differently. Today, we were looking at less than 70% attendance rate. Oh, that's not good. We were past the point where you could ignore things and carry teaching classes. And of course, none of the students actually attending were interested in the whole self-study idea. The classrooms were a little more than an offline stage for the sort of debates people were having about the subject on message boards. Considering how many people were getting fed up with the whole thing and just heading home entirely, I was a model student by comparison. Yes, model. He jammed a bunch of teenagers on edge into a box all day like this and something was... Something was gotta give... Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> Something's gotta give eventually. I really would have preferred to hit the road myself before any trouble arose, but I never heard the end of it from Kazumi, so I decided to just escape to the roof instead. Though, to be honest, there was another more pressing reason I was going for. I sighed and slunk down on the water tower. I've been having the same dream every night now, the same development every time culminating in my decapitation by a guillotine. And every time I woke up from it, there was a report of a new murder in the city. Maybe, maybe I'm tied to the murder victims. Maybe I'm the killer. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! And it's no longer another teacher. Crap, I probably spoiled something. I still couldn't figure out who the girl was, even though we'd never had anything resembling a conversation. I couldn't let those plaintive eyes and that song of hers out of my head. The guillotine, the girl, my decapitated body, her head, rolling on the ground, bloody bodies with their heads severed. I couldn't help feeling that this was some sort of vicious cycle, that my dreams and fading reality and reality in turn affecting my dreams, growing worse by the day. Why was this happening? I could think there were three hypotheses, hypotheses that seemed plausible. One, this was all a just a coincidence. Random noise that only seemed to be forming a pattern. This was the most realistic answer. Two, I had psychic powers and my dreams were prophetic. I could predict the deaths of those around me. Such people did exist according to my knowledge. And three, the sort of cliche plot you see in mystery novels and the like. In other words, I'm the murderer? I banged my head against the water tower in an attempt to stave off the line thought. Murder was by definition a destructive act. There was nothing to be gained from going around killing other people. Good boy. I tried to force myself to think about it from a rational standpoint at that. And that had happened as was a few strangers dying, right? I wasn't the sort of guy to get worked up over something so trivial. My thoughts were threatened to get away from me and spiral into an endless pit, unless I kept regard repeating with enough conviction to piss even myself off. I said a bad word, I'm sorry. I couldn't afford to be concerned with the morality of my outlook on the situation. Continuing to fret about things would just dig me a deeper hole. If I wanted to be convinced myself that I was a normal person, then ignoring all of this crap was my best course of action. No, that a normal person would react like that to be the recurrent situation, of course. 
When the bell rang and Andrew wrote my little revere reverie, it seemed that fourth period had already ended. The faculty ended up deciding to close the school after all, and the day's classes would likely end now. There would probably be a school-wide broadcast soon enough. Yeah, voice in the comments. Da, 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 da. Couldn't believe my ears. I was supposed to be able to talk to already. Another five minutes passed, and I felt the ground stretched out. <sighs> Is it my favorite part? 